I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question. You can pause the video, copy the question and find the angles x, y and z. In this diagram you will note that there are two parallel lines and we are given two angles 75 degrees and 50 degrees. You need to find the angle x, y and z. To begin with, we could actually directly find angle X since this is a straight line. A straight line always make 180 degrees, correct? So we know a straight line makes 180 degrees. So sum of 75 X and 50 is 180. So what is X? X is equals to 180 degrees. Take away the other two which is you can say take away 50 degrees and then take away 75 degrees. I will recommend the use of calculator. So 180 minus 50 minus 75 gets you the answer which is equals to 55 degrees. So as soon as you get your angle write it down. So we'll write it down here 55 degrees. Now have a close look at the figure and see what can you do from here. So we have these two parallel lines and we know all the angles in this side. Look for patterns. Correct? So one pattern is kind of a C here, right? So that C gives you 180 degrees sum. This is interior angles. Is it okay? So one pattern which we see is of C. So let us say this is the C for us. Correct? So this angle forms 180 degrees, right? So there is no harm in writing this. Of course, it is not one of those X, Y and Z angles, but still uh, we could use this, right? So let me write down this also. So this will be, this angle will be 180 degrees minus 55 degrees. Is that okay? So let's use the calculator to figure this out. 180 minus 55 equals to 125. So this angle here is 125 degrees anyway. Now let's look into the parallel lines. Actually speaking, these are the parallel lines and you have a transverse line right there, right? So between these two parallel lines, we do see a transverse line, right? So how do that help you? Now here also you have a C. Do you see that C here? This C right so that c means this angle should be equal to that angle correct now here are actually two parallel lines so this is a parallelogram right basically but since some of my students don't know about it we're actually working with angles and triangle so i'm not taking that into consideration for the time being so we are again looking into the second c section here right the c so where y is 180 minus 55 so I could write the angle Y as equals to 180 degrees minus 55. Is it okay? Which we calculated 125 degrees, right? So this Y is also 125 degrees. Now we are left with Z, right? Now for Z, again, we have this C section. Do you see that C section? So that is another C which we can see which is this time on this side. So here you can, you know, the sum of y and z should be 180 and therefore z is equals to 180 degrees minus 125 degrees and that should be 55 degrees, correct? So that is how you can find all your angles. So this becomes 55 degrees, correct? So I hope with this you can easily calculate all the angles in the given diagram. Those of you who recognize a parallelogram will note that the opposite angles are always equal, right? And sum of angles is 360 as it makes two triangles instead of one. So they could have adopted different methods to find the same answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.